Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and all to our very first Great Path Academy concert live stream. I've been, I am super excited about this. I've been uh, juiced up and anxious for, well, my wife could tell you, for a couple of weeks now. <laughs> I've been thinking about this pretty much nonstop, and I am excited. I think we're going to have a good time tonight. Now, obviously, it's a little bit of a bummer that we don't get to do this, you know, in person. But in the absence of that, I think this is going to be pretty cool. So, Here's, here's some of what we got going on tonight. We've got, uh, obviously, I'll have some info and announcements for you. I'll try to keep those brief. We have our end-of-year awards. We're going to be doing that. That's, of course, you know, we got to do that at the uh, spring concert. We have uh, a nice little send-off for some of our seniors. This would have been this would have been their last concert. And, uh, you know, sorry, seniors, that it ends up being this. But at least we're going to do something fun. And, uh, and then, of course... Lots of music that you all have been making, or your students have been making. Uh, we, as far as I know, have people tuning in from all over, we uh, all over the country, actually. I know people have been sending this link around because, uh, you know, usually relatives from Arizona don't get to come to the concert, but they get to come to this one. That's one of the few benefits that we get, which uh, I'm pretty excited about. I actually think my dad is watching right now. Hi, Dad, if you're out there. Um, uh, but that said, the difference between watching just watching a video and your own uh, on your own time and this actual live stream concert experience is that chat right over there i've got it turned on of course we need to stay you know family friendly and school appropriate however let's get that chat nice and lively let you know don't feel like you have to wait until the end of the song to say something let's uh cheer each other on and give each other emoji claps and all that kind of stuff because you know nobody's going to hear you applauding from home if you're listening to a live stream so you got to do it through that chat over there looks like we got a whole bunch of people already uh already in here and going uh, let's see who do we got uh isabel's here and noah and oh my goodness i'm not sure who steampunk kittens is but they seem pretty excited too, and Jube and Ever and and Nick. Oh my goodness, we have alumni here too. That's exciting. And of course, as always with every live stream, we have Sean Baskerville. Hi, Sean. <laughs> this is gonna be super fun. And so uh, I'm gonna stop talking. We're just gonna we're gonna kick it right off. Our first thing that we have up on the docket is the vocal ensemble singing a song that was going to be on our spring competition, but now. Obviously, we didn't go to that competition, so we did a virtual choir instead. Uh, for anyone that hasn't done one of these things, what this entailed is all the students had to record themselves individually. Uh, they they all like created their own like little soundproofed closet spaces to record in, and uh, and then took video of themselves afterwards, like singing along with the track, so that I could assemble it all into uh, you know one of these virtual choir videos that you've seen so many of. They did a great job. I had a great time. Uh, uh, putting it together, and I hope you enjoy. Here is the vocal ensemble singing a barbershop tune called Smiling Through. Here's a story of love, fond and true.
fun with that and it was <laughs> that's a great sound you guys sound good in a virtual choir format <laughs> it's pretty exciting for me and man we got a whole bunch more people joining us too look my wife is here and my mom hi mom and we've got miss thura and miss sombrick and and dylan's here and oh man we are loading up the this concert I am excited that you're all here to uh, to watch it. Now, uh, while you're all here, I mentioned right before we went into that song that uh, we didn't get to do it on the trip. As many of you know, obviously, because we didn't go on them, those trips got canceled. Now, I've been fielding a bunch of questions about refunds for the trip. Um, those refunds should be coming soon. It actually took us a while to get the money back from the tour company, but we have enough of it back now that we can start processing those refunds. So most of you filled out that form with the information. I've got all of that to uh, to our booster treasurer, and those checks are going to be going out fairly soon. So you should be getting your, if, if you haven't already, you should be receiving that refund check fairly soon. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. I will uh, I will uh, let you know what's going on with yours. Now, with uh, hi kitty. <laughs> My cat it wants to join in on the fun. Um so that was our first virtual ensemble. Now a lot these virtual ensembles are a lot of work. And so most of the things you're going to hear on this concert are not virtual ensembles. They are individual projects that some of our students have done because this is still, you know, these are still music classes and we still needed to learn things. So uh, what I did was I gave them, uh, students, you all know this, parents, adults, staff who are watching. Uh, what I did with all of these classes was I gave them options for weekly assignments, of some of which were 
you know, just writing papers about things, learning music theory, stuff like that. Others of which were creating actual musical content themselves, doing performances, writing music, stuff like that. And we've got a whole bunch of that lined up today. And we are going to start with a bang. Our first one up, we have one of our outgoing seniors, Alana Peterson. She uh, decided to take on the performance challenge and uh, do a little bit of singing. I'm going to let her introduce it. Take it away, Alana. Hi. So I'm going to be singing When He Sees Me from Waitress the Musical. Uh, this is one of my favorite musicals, so I thought I would sing something from it. And also, I feel like everyone can relate a little bit to what the character Dawn is singing about. So, yep. Here we go. <laughs> I stick with real things, usually facts and figures When information's in its place, I minimize the guessing game Guess what? What? I don't like guessing games, so when I feel things Before I know the feelings, how am I supposed to operate If I'm just tossed around by fate? Like on an unexpected date with a stranger who might talk too fast Or ask me questions about myself before I decided that He can ask me questions about myself, he might sit too close Or call the waiter by his first name or he only knows But eat the cookie before the cream But what scares me the most, what scares me the most Is what if when he sees me What if he doesn't like it What if he wants the other way Give myself away and I only get it given back. Oh, 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 I couldn't live with that. How oh, do you live with that? So I'm just fine inside my shell, shapes mine this way. I get the best view. So that when he sees me, I want him to. Dawn, don't you think you're being a little, I mean, maybe just a, a tad? I'm not defensive! I'm simply being cautious I can't risk reckless dating due to my miscalculating wild A certain certist in the line I've seen in movies, most made for television You cannot be too careful when it comes to sharing your life I can end up a miserable life I'm sorry girls, he could be criminal Some sort of psychopath who escaped from Somewhere where they don't have rules He could have masterminded some way to find me He could be colorblind How untrustworthy is that? He could be this kind Or even worse, he could be very nice Have lovely eyes And make me laugh Come out of hiding What do I do with that? Oh God, what if when he sings me How like a man he knows it what if he opens up a door and I can't close it? Awesome job, Alana. So, quick quick story for Mr. Wolf. My wife and I actually had tickets to go see Waitress at the Schubert Theater. I've never gotten to see it live. And unfortunately, it got canceled because of this whole quarantine situation. So, we didn't get to go see it last month like we were supposed to. But, uh, as many of these tickets are, they have been rescheduled for about a year and a half from now. So, I can't... <laughs> I gotta tell you, watching you sing that song only makes me want to go see that show more. I've never actually gotten to see it live. I'm super excited. Great job, Alana. That was awesome. So, 
That was one kind of challenge that we had was uh, individual performance. Another kind of challenge that uh, some of the students decided to take a whack at was creating some of the uh, solo multi-tracked acapella things that you undoubtedly have seen online. So where it's one person doing all of the parts and like kind of like a virtual choir except with just one person. So we've got uh, one of those coming up for you right now. Kiana did a great one. Now, a quick note on it. Um, because of the immediate switch in how we were running things, we didn't really have an opportunity to get a good recording setup out there. That's actually one of the things I'm looking at for next year. So those of you who aren't seniors, you can look forward to some uh, more robust uh, technological support on this. So Kiana did have a little bit of issues with the, the microphone. So there's some sound quality issues. But what she did was so cool that like... It's worth listening through the microphone issues to hear this awesome stuff that she did. So, Kiana, everything that you're about to see, this is all Kiana. She did all of this, and it's awesome. Take it away, Kiana. <laughs> If you didn't see it in the bottom right corner of that video, that was done with an app called the Acapella app. It's uh, It allows you to do those sort of multi-panel videos. It is super fun, and it is way harder than it looks. That uh, Kiana just knocked it out of the park. Thanks, Kiana. That was so fun. I can't wait to see... What well, you know, as you know, Kiana's a senior, as you probably know, and she's going to be leaving us. And I can't wait to see what she does next because she's I, there's a, a bright future in front of that one. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but I'm excited to see it. So let's move it right along. So we have individual performances. We have solo multi-track performances. <laughs> You're welcome, Kiana. Uh, we have multi uh, acapella solo multi-track performances. But one of the other things that uh, I opened up for students to do was some actual composition. So not just improvising something on a drum or on a voice or on a piano or something, but actually using real musical notation to write music. Um, for percussionists, they were mostly doing percussion music. For You'll see some, some of the stuff that one of our vocal students was doing later. But we're going to start right now with a percussion piece written by Alano. Now, he, uh, what you're going to hear, you're not going to hear actual drums playing it. What you'll hear is the MIDI synthesized sounds generated by the software he used called MuseScore. It's really cool software. It lets you do really cool stuff. And Alano created a pretty cool piece here. So without any further ado, you're going to get to on the screen. You'll get to see the notation that he created. Everything that you're seeing, this was all stuff that he wrote. Here it is. Take it away, Alano.
pretty cool, right? I, uh, I got to tell you, that software has come a long way since I first started using it 20 years ago. He, he sent me that as a project, and I actually hadn't looked at the Muse Score software in a while. I knew it was out there, but he sent me that like a couple of weeks into this whole quarantine. I was like, oh my God, that like sounds... That sounds legit. Like the software is doing a great job. And how about the composition? He's actually writing stuff. I like it. Real composition, real music. This is uh, this is what we're doing now. Uh, we're gonna move it on to um, a fairly new member of our music department. Now it took many years of me working on this guy for him to actually finally join vocal ensemble but his senior year he did and he's uh he's been killing it for us all year he's been he had solos on cabaret and he's doing all sorts of other stuff and uh another guy with a bright future ahead of him singing uh fly me to the moon here is dylan fosberg Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hands. In other words, baby, kiss me. song and let me sing forevermore you are all i long for all i worship and adore in other words please be true in other words i love you Awesome, Dylan. So awesome, in fact, that my cat decided to start singing along with you. There she is. She was meowing away the whole time she liked it so much. Hi, kitty. Nope. Oh, there she is now. I don't know if you can hear her. Yeah, hey, shh. I'm doing a live stream. <laughs> anyway. All right. So we're going to stay on the singing track, but we're going to change gears a little bit. Um, however, we're also going to stay on track with Dylan's. Because we've got another one. His last name also starts with an F. <laughs> this time it's Dylan Foran. And he, instead of performing something, he composed something. Now, similar to Alano earlier with the drums, except this time uh, Dylan was actually working with me on his in, in the music tech class on learning a whole bunch of music theory. So there's chords, there's piano accompaniment, there's all kinds of stuff. Like, he, he this is like legit composition. Like, for real, this is 
awesome, Dylan. I can't tell you how excited I'm about that you're doing this stuff, especially as a freshman. I sent this to some of my colleagues, and they were like, a freshman did this? Oh, my God. So um, now we weren't able to organize students to sing it because of uh, the the sort of late notice that we had here, but I was able to reach out to some of my friends, some of my, like, pro musician friends to record it for him because, you know, the... The MIDI software will create drum sounds and piano sounds, but it can't really create words that it, like, it won't do MIDI synthesized singing words, so we had to get actual voices to sing it. So, on this, you will hear my voice, you will hear my wife's voice, also Todd and, or excuse me, not Todd, Jude and Sam from my quartet, and Angie and Laurel from the Millennium Magic Chorus. They all pitched in their voices so that this, uh, so we could bring Dylan's composition to life here because, man... It is really cool when you hear it with voices. I hope you're excited, because I am. Here we go, Dylan. Here's your piece. This is, By the way, this is the first time he's hearing it with voices, too. I hope you're excited, Dylan. Here it is. Soft waves wash the shores, the skyline glows with beauty, but Is that? Oh man, keep them coming, Dylan. We're gonna create some cool stuff in the next few years. I am very excited about that. That's super fun. <laughs> you don't often get something like that coming from a student as a music teacher. That that makes us very excited. So uh, we are gonna keep this thing rolling along. Uh, the one of the wonderful benefits. I mean, there. You know, I would prefer to have a live concert, but I'll tell you, one of the big benefits of doing a virtual concert is that there's no equipment to move. So we get to move straight from a vocal piece to a percussion piece, and we don't have to do 10 minutes of moving drums around the stage. It also means we don't have to put them away at the end of the concert, which is kind of exciting too. So we are going to bring up one of our next virtual ensembles. This is our virtual drum line. Now, how do you do a drum line when all of the drums are locked at the school, you may ask? It's actually kind of difficult. There's not a great way to do it. We're going to see if we can figure out some better ways to do this next year. But with the limited warning we had on this quarantine, this is kind of what we figured out. So uh, I have a piece of software that I got actually from my from my parents. Hi, Mom. She got me this. She'll be very excited to hear it in use. Uh, it's called Virtual Drumline. So what I did is I took the percussion music that, that we were playing and I programmed it into this software to generate the sound of a virtual drum line like using samples so it sounds like there's a real drum line playing all of the dr quote unquote drums that you're about to hear are samples and the students are playing on drum pads on books on pillows on like pieces of paper laid out on the table whatever they could get because you know they didn't have drums at home. I don't have drums at home either. That's not something that people usually have. So we, you're going to hear a layering of the actual tapping sounds of them on the drum pads with these virtual drum line sounds. The end result is pretty cool. And now we're also going to put these together into a, into a little medley for you, as we usually do with the drum line. So we've got a whole bunch of drum music coming at you right now. I hope you're excited. Here it is, the, uh, the Great Path Academy virtual Drumline.
actual drum line. Now, I'm sure you noticed the uh, mixture of equipment. You know, it's funny when we get, like, just sort of emergency sent home. A lot of stuff got left at the school, including sticks and pads for a whole lot of people. We had to kind of improvise. Sean, I'm, I'm not sure what that was that you were using there, but you made it work. It was pretty cool. What was Oh, I had to use the thing from the window, like one of the tw the blind twisty things. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, we do what we can, and it worked. That was fun. So let's, um, before we move on, I want to say it's been a little while since uh, I've actually gotten to see you all. And we are obviously not going to get to do, our... hey, Kitty, stop it. We are obviously not going to get to do our end-of-year party the way we usually do, but I do want to hang out with you all a little bit. So tomorrow at 10 o'clock during the normal vocal ensemble time, I would love to do a Google Meet. Let's get the whole music department in there if we can. We can all uh, have a little, you know, uh, uh, you know, post rundown of the concert, congratulate each other, talk about what we liked, you know, see see how things are going, maybe, you know say goodbye for the summer because we're not actually going to get to do so at the concert. So 10 o'clock tomorrow, make sure you're there. I'll put the uh, Google the Google Meet code uh, link in all of the music department classrooms so you'll be able to find it right there. We'll be, have a good time tomorrow and uh, I'll actually get to see you guys instead of just seeing the text that you write. Not that I don't like the text, but I want to see you. Let the cat speak to the people. Mm. I think the kitty would run away if I tried to pick her up right now. She just wants food. Um, okay. So, moving it right along. This next one I am particularly excited about. So, similar to Kiana, this is another solo multi-tracked acapella. However, this one uh, didn't worry about the camera work and just focused exclusively on the vocals. So, this is a an awesome, uh, I believe, Kanye West tune called Street Lights. It was recorded and I think arranged by our very own Sean Baskerville. Everything that you're about to hear, every voice, every vocal percussion sound is all Sean. This is awesome. Get ready for this. Here we go. Take it away, Sean. One, two, three, one. Let me know. Do I still got time to grow? Things ain't always set in stone That be known, let me know Seems like street lights glowing Happen to be just like moments Passing in front of me, so I hop in the cabin. I pay my fares. See, I know my destination. I'm just not there. All these street lights glowing happen to be just like moments passing in front of me. Destination. I'm just not there in these streets. 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 I'm just not there in these streets. In these streets. In these streets. I'm just not there. Life just ain't fair. Life just ain't fair. Mm. 
just not there Life just ain't fair There it is. And hey, look who decided to join us. It's Shadow. He's very excited about getting some food in a moment. Congrats to Sean. Man, the chat lit up for that and deservedly so. How cool was that, guys? Can we get some uh, some claps in the chat for that one? Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. It's time to get down. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, apparently we don't want to be held on the live stream anymore. Um, yeah, so congratulations, Sean. We're going to do some cool work with stuff like that next year. Um, and it's interesting. I think um, I, I've been getting a lot of questions on that about next year and, you know, what are we going to do? I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure yet. It's going to depend on how all of the, you know, restrictions come from, from the governor and what's going to be possible in terms of being together in large classes and large ensembles and stuff like that. I'm really not sure, but I've got some ideas and I'll tell you stuff like you were just doing there, Sean, that's, we're probably going to go in a direction towards some of that stuff. We're going to be looking at some digital acapella production and things like that. Cause uh, as of evidenced by what Sean just did, you can do some pretty cool stuff with it. So we're going to take a look a little deeper. Now let's get back over to the drum folks and we're going to uh, head to our, uh, TA for all of our drum classes, basically, Patrick. He also, uh, like Alano, wrote a percussion cadence uh, using the uh, MuseScore software. It is also very cool, and uh, I think you will see some of the crazy rudimental stuff that he built into it. He, uh, he spent a good amount of time on this, and I... And I, I, I kind of want to learn to play it myself. If I hadn't been so busy putting together this concert, I probably would have busted out the pads and learned it, and I might still do so. So uh, playing his untitled, uh, untitled percussion cadence, here is Patrick Chapman. about that there's some percussion writing for you we're uh patrick uh we're gonna we're gonna do some cool things next year percussively too i think so we've got one more song but we've got a few other things to do before then it is that point in the concert this is our spring concert and it is time to do some awards so we are gonna start with our Sousa award so this is traditionally a band award. We don't really have a concert band. So, so in our music program, this tends to be the award for, you know, the student that just does everything. Uh, this is the award that I won when I was in high school. All of these awards that we're about to do are all tracked on a national registry. I mean, chances are if there is some musician, you know, famous musician that you listen to when they were in school, they won one of these awards. Like the, these go back a long, long time. There's a long history with these. Um, now, unfortunately, uh, the company that sends them out uh, got a little jammed up with quarantine and, and stuff too. So we don't actually have the physical <laughs> awards yet. So those of you that win them, I'm going to have to connect with you at some point in the next few months to get them to you. But either way, your names will go up on the plaque in the lobby. So first of all, for the Sousa Award, having been in basically every ensemble 
being one of my absolute go-tos to get anything done that that needs to be done. I mean, even as far as coming to booster meetings and help organizing everything from that end, I'd imagine it will be no surprise to anybody that the winner of our Sousa Award this year is Isabel Rodriguez. Whoops, I clicked on the wrong thing. Isabel Rodriguez, <laughs> there it is. Congratulations, Isabel. Let's get some claps in the chat for her. And uh, while we do that, I have got uh, for our award recipients, I combed through all of the uh, footage that I have to pick my favorite moments of these award recipients on stage with the GPA music department. So here is my favorite Isabel moment from the past four years. Rodriguez. Miss Rodriguez is two pieces away from swallowing an entire board game. <laughs> A poop. A what? <laughs> I'm going to have to ask you to speak very clearly into the microphone. May I have a definition, please? And the word was a poop, is what you asked before. Def <laughs> definition, toward the back or to move a stern on a boat. Can you please use that in a sentence? Guido, the seasick Italian, said, It schools me, boys. I'm going to go a poop. Are you, sorry, are you pulling my leg? No. Can you please spell the word? It's this kind of a poop. Speak into the microphone, please. It's not that hard. <laughs> okay. Just spell. I believe <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just spell. A P O O P. That is correct. <laughs> um, can you... May I be seated? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that look on her face when she gets it right might be one of my favorite things I've ever seen on stage at this school. <laughs> Good job, Isabel. For those of you that weren't there for the show, Isabel wasn't actually in the cast for that show. The show involved pulling random audience members up onto stage to be part of this spelling bee. And so she had no idea what she was going to get. Everything you saw there was genuine reaction. I'm never going to forget that, Isabel. That was funny. Okay, so moving on. Our next award. This is for the Choral Director Award. This is for a student uh, showing particular dedication to the choral program. In this case, um, it was actually kind of a difficult choice, but ultimately it, it had to come down to we have one student that ha has just been in vocal every year, is the anchor of her section, is just, I, I mean, Mrs. Dependable herself. Again, I don't think it's going to be much of a surprise to anybody that the Choral Director Award goes to Ever Pollen. Congratulations, Ever. I, I, you were pretty slotted in to win this for a while. Uh, so, uh, we, again, we will get these awards to you as soon as we can, but we got to see my favorite Ever clip. This one is significantly more recent. So here we go. Check it out. This is from the Hamilton production. And you won a landslide. Congrats on a race well run. I did give you a fight. Ah. Uh -huh. I look forward to our partnership. Our partnership? Yes, as your vice president. <laughs> yeah, right. You hear this guy? Man, openly campaigns against me talking about how I look forward to our partnership. It's crazy how the guy who comes in second becomes vice president. Oh, you know what? We can change that. You know why? Why? Because I'm the president. Mm. Burr, when you see Hamilton, thank him for the endorsement. <laughs> that little coat flip when she walks past him. She did that once in rehearsal and I couldn't stop laughing for about two minutes. Man, Ever, you have been a joy to have on stage. We are going to miss you when you're gone, but I'm sure you're going to do, go do great things. And I'll tell you what, wherever you end up, find their improv comedy troupe and join it. They will love to have you. <laughs> okay, so last but not least, 
the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award. So this is goes to a student that has been particularly awesome in our jazz program. And there can be no doubt about who this one goes to. Uh, several, when I first came to the school, we had a couple of kids named uh, John and Ricky, and they just were the core of the jazz ensemble. And I was really kind of frightened about when they left what would happen to the jazz group and right as they were seniors wouldn't you know this guy showed up as a freshman and just took on that mantle and has been leading the jazz band ever since it is going to be very very difficult uh after he leaves and not just jazz band i mean he's also been amazing in our theater program and and you know making all state multiple years and choir i mean this guy is a consummate musician i can't wait to see what he does moving forward either with no further ado the jazz award goes to liam baginski congratulations liam uh well 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 deserved and uh let's take a look at my favorite liam moment this one is also very very recent this one is from his solo from cabaret night on Thursday night, it just sang. It was a great solo. Here we go. So check it out. This is in true jazz form. This is total improvisation. Here it is. <laughs> cut it off there just for time but if you want to go see that entire performance which i totally recommend that you do it is available on the great path music website greatpathmusic.com what's the website guys type it in the chat you all know what it is um speaking of which this live stream will uh be coming down as soon as we are done with it but i'm getting video of this whole thing it's all being recorded and i will put all of it on the website tomorrow so that you can all uh, watch it again later send the link around and i'm also going to isolate out the videos of some of those virtual ensembles so if you just want to send the video of the uh the virtual choir or virtual drum line you can do that as well i'll explain all of that in our Google Meet tomorrow morning at 10. So congratulations to our award winners, Isabel, Ever, and Liam. Well-deserved for all of you. And I got to tell you, it was a rather difficult choice this year. We had a particularly awesome group of seniors who... Um, it's going to be hard to see... It's going to be hard to see them go. Uh, I know that this is not the way that they wanted to end their senior year. And, you know, it's not the way I wanted to end it with them either. So one of the things that I did was I put together a, a nice little send-off for those seniors. Normally, when we're having a live concert, I just have them come down to the front of the stage or, you know, hold up their hand or something so we can recognize them. But there's no way to do that here. So instead of that, I put together a little send-off for you seniors. Um, I'm not going to lie. I, uh, I got a little <laughs> – when I finished editing it and watched it, my first rough cut of it, I kind of had to stop. I got a little misty-eyed. I am – I'm really going to miss you guys. So this is going to be a little hard for me to watch. But thank you so much for being awesome members of the music department for all of the years to years. And, uh, and good luck in all of your, uh, your future stuff. Seniors, this is for you.
help to help our friends in need. You can count on me like one, two, three. I'll be there. I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two. And you'll be there. You'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do. See you guys go. I look forward to seeing you at, next week at graduation, though, and hopefully tomorrow in the Google Meet. Um, something I forgot to mention before that I played that, um, along with their name, I listed their rank and experience points in the uh, music department experience points game that we all have. I should have mentioned this when I gave him the award earlier. I don't know if you noticed that crazy XP total next to Liam. Liam has successfully this year become the highest XP earner in the history of the Great Path Music Department. He's got 12,450 experience points. It is going to be very difficult for anyone to ever top that. Liam, I highly suspect that you are going to be at the top of that all-time leaderboard for a long, long time. Oh, but to all of you seniors, we'll miss you. Have, please go do amazing things like you've been doing here. Now, but seniors, before you go do that amazing stuff, you need to send a vocal ensemble seniors. You need to send me your video of yourself singing the national anthem. We need to make a virtual choir video of the Star Spangled Banner for graduation next week, which means I need your recordings and video from all of you so I can put together the, vo the uh, virtual choir for that. Don't forget to do that by the end of the weekend. If I don't have it from you, I won't be able to include you in the video, and that would be really sad. So make sure you do that. Um, yeah, so we've got one more song for you. It's one more virtual choir, although we went a little bit more, uh, a little bit more crazy with this one. It's not just the boxes in a grid. We, uh, I decided to make a little bit of a music video out of this, and I think it's going to be a great way to end our very first live concert stream. Um, stick around afterwards. Uh, Noah, I've got a song at the end there that's just for you. I hope you all had a great time. The chat will be open here for a little while. I'll be chatting with you all, and I will see you all tomorrow in the uh, Google Meet. Thank you all for a great, great day year and i hope you have a great summer and stay safe and good luck uh, uh, those of you who are coming back next year can't wait to see you again in the fall and uh, to you seniors good luck in all of your future endeavors thank you all so much for being an awesome awesome music department here we go with the the vocal on our final song the vocal ensemble singing royals by lord I've never seen a diamond in the flesh I cut my teeth on wedding rings in the movies And I'm not proud of my dress In a torn up town, no postcode envy But every song is like gold teeth, gray goose Tripping in the bathroom, blood stains, ball gowns Trash in the hotel room, we don't care we're driving Cadillacs in our dreams But everybody's like crystal Maybach Diamonds on your timepiece Jet planes, islands Tigers on a gold leash We don't care We don't We are caught up in your love affair And we'll never be loyal Loyal It's the one and our flood It's the time luck to stay for us We crave a different kind of buzz Let me be your ruler You can call me queen Stains, ball 
Congratulations one more time, everybody. Congratulations on a great year, a great concert. I will see you all tomorrow at 10. All of these videos will be up on the uh, website uh, very, very shortly. Have a great night. Thank you all for coming. <laughs>